In this video, we're going to uh, practice converting angles from degrees to radians and vice versa. <clears throat> so the big thing with uh, degrees and radians is this conversion factor. Um, 180 degrees is exactly equal to pi radians. That's all you need to know to do this. So if you're starting with 120 degrees, you need to use that conversion factor. Um, you're either going to write 180 degrees over pi radians or vice versa, multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. Um, <clears throat> the way to remember is um, if you're going to convert to radians, your radians must be in the numerator, numerator and the degrees must be in the denominator so that they cancel out. So that's the easiest way to remember which way to um, present this ratio. So again, since I'm, I'm going to convert to radians, I need to remember that I need the radians on top. so that my units will end up to be radians, which is what I want. So this is what you're doing. Think of this as 120 over 1, so that degrees will cancel, and you're going to be left with radians. So I'm going to just cross-cancel what I can. This zero, they're both divisible by 10 across from each other. Um, so I have 12 and 18 now, and they're both divisible by 3. So I have 4 and 6 now. Those are both divisible by 2, so I have 2 and 3 now. So if you look closely, I have on top 2 pi radians divided by 1 times 3, which is 3. So 120 is 2 pi over 3 radians. That's it. So I'm going to do the same thing with negative 60. So negative 60 degrees times pi radians over 180 degrees. Now, when you don't write the word RAD, uh, if you don't need to, because if there's no units, we assume radians. So 60 and 180, well, 60 goes into 180 exactly three times. So I can cross cancel like this. So I have a negative one pi over three. So this is negative pi over 3 radians. That's pretty easy. Um, now to go the other way, radians to degrees, you're going to use that same conversion factor, but you're going to flip it. So or, and this is even easier, if pi radians equals 180, you can make that substitution. So if your angle has a pi in it, like the first one and the second one, you can just make that substitution. If your angle doesn't have a pi in it, like the third one, you're going to have to multiply it by the uh, conversion factor. I'll show you right now. So since pi radians is 100, 180 degrees exactly, you can write this as negative 7 times 180 degrees. So there we go. We have converted it to degrees already. And then just multiply this. Um, since 6 goes into 180 evenly, this will be negative 7 times 30 degrees. And that's negative 210 degrees. So 5 pi over 22, same thing. Um, pi is 180 degrees. So that's your angle. You just reduce. Um, 2 goes into 180 nine to 90 times, and 2 goes into 22 11 times. I don't think there's any left to reduce, so it's 5 times 90, 450 over 11 degrees. I'm probably going to make this a decimal. Just grab the calculator. I'm getting 40. 
0.91 degrees approximately. So that's that one. Last one, negative 2.2. Notice this one does not have a pi, so there's nothing to substitute 180 in for. So I'm going to have to use the conversion factor again. Oh, it's right over here. So now I'm going to set up this conversion factor completely opposite as I did up here because I'm going the other way. But remember, this is radians, and you want your answer to be in degrees. So that tells you right there you need to use the 180 degrees has to go up top. So your answer ends up to be degrees. And this is pi radians, 2.1 Negative 2.12 radians will cancel, so this is perfect. Um, this being a decimal, I'm going to do all this on my calculator. I'm just going to multiply negative 2.12 times 180. And then I'm going to get negative 386, oops, negative 381.6 over pi. So I'm just going to hit divided by pi on my calculator. And my final answer is negative 121.47 degrees. And that's approximate, just like the one before, because I rounded. So that's how you convert from degrees to radians and vice versa.